send the boys in. Send the boys in now. You know you, when, when they're justifying bombing whole cities of civilians on the pretext of protecting civilians, um, and they say, the world community has decided, we have GH, and the international, that's code for world government. And when they then say, we're going to bring NATO in because the world community has decided, no, actually, America, Britain, France, and one or two others have bloody decided, and Israel. Um, they are talking about NATO as a world army. The idea of this structure, where they want to take us, is to have a world government that says, these people, or this group, or this, what is now a country, is not accepting our diktats, send the boys in. And that's what we've seen in Libya. That's what they're trying to bring in in Syria. That's what we're seeing increasingly around the world. The international community has decided, send the boys in. NATO, de facto world army. International community, G8, de facto world government. We're seeing it being moved into place. According to some, it's about protecting civilians. And our resolve is clear. The people of Libya must be protected. Others say it's about oil. The only reason they're interested in, with Libya is about the oil. You think we'd be in Iraq if the major export there was broccoli? But some are convinced intervention in Libya is all about currency, specifically Gaddafi's plan to introduce the gold dinar, a single African currency made from gold, a true sharing of the wealth. It's one of these things that you have to plan almost in secret because as soon as you say you're going to change over from the dollar to the something else you're going to be targeted there were two conferences on this one in uh, 96 and another one in the year 2000 called the world mataba conference organized by gaddafi and uh, everybody was interested and i think most countries in africa were keen Gaddafi didn't give up. In the months leading up to the military intervention, he called on African and Muslim nations to join together to create this new currency that would rival the dollar and euro. They would sell oil and other resources around the world only for gold dinars. It's an idea that would shift the economic balance of the world. Countries' wealth would depend on how much gold they have, not how many dollars they trade. And Libya has 144 tons of gold. The UK has double that, but 10 times the population. If Gaddafi uh, had an intent to try to uh, reprice his oil or whatever else the, uh, the country was uh, selling in the global markets and accept something else as a currency or maybe launch a gold in our currency, any move such as that would certainly not be welcomed by the power elite today who are responsible for controlling the world's central banks. So yes, that would certainly be something that would cause his immediate dismissal and the need for other reasons to, uh, to be brought forth for removing him from power. It's happened before. In 2000, Saddam Hussein announced Iraqi oil would be traded in euros, not dollars. Sanctions and an invasion followed. Some say because the Americans were desperate to prevent OPEC from transferring oil trading in all its member countries to the euro. A gold dinar would have had serious consequences for the world financial system, but may also have empowered the people of Africa. Send the boys in. Send the boys in.